So the second segment we want to get into, it's not official, but for people who follow the verses, the mm. versus battle, yeah, it's not official, but these two artists been taking jabs at each other. Mm. Memphis Bleak versus Joel Santana. Yeah, you being from Brooklyn, I know you got something to say about that. Nah. You came up through that era where you was telling me you remember when, you know, uh, Bleak got hot and that culture from early two thousand. So I'm gonna let you talk it, on that. It 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 it, it um. It's like two things. And, and Joel's and, and Bleak both got something in common. They both were supposed to, let's be honest, I don't want them to taste the wrong way. It's, it's both they came, from, they were both supposed to take the title. They were supposed to take the belt. And they never did. You know, like Bleak, Bleak was right there. And then I think he, and he talked about it. So I think that's something that happened to his brother, um, you know, in a car at Bike Action. So I don't think he was mentally focused. But even when his next album came out, he just never rebounded from that. Um, Joel Santana, you know, I mean, even when he was on his downslide, he was still hot. Mm-hmm. He he could have took over. But the difference is between him and Bleak, though, and I, I, I guess it's like, it's not like the locks in, in Dipset. I, I can't front. When the locks in Dipset was going to do a versus, I was like, eh, I, I mean, what real records do they really have? Like, can they really do that many records? Which one? The, Dipset or the locks? Both of them. I, oh, okay. I, yeah, I was like, I was like, this, uh, and then like they started playing. There was records that I know for a fact they didn't do, Both and I was them. like, damn. I was like, and I forgot about the records they were playing. So, so what I'm saying is, is with Bleak, I, Joel's might have him on this because Joel's he got all that music from Dipset. Remember, he had verses in a group, and then okay. he had verses on his own albums that that even though maybe sales wise it didn't hit in the streets, everybody knows them. So, and we saw that with Jadakus in the verses. So, my whole thing is with Bleak, I'm thinking about with Bleak, like, you wasn't ever really in a group. You might have did a few hit records with Hove, but you don't got the, I don't know if the catalog matches matches Joel's. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's going to do that. Bleak, let me put it like this way. It wouldn't be an upset of Bleak one in the verses, but I, I wanna, wouldn't, wanna I wouldn't through, be shocked if Joel's. You want to go through it a little bit? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, go on. Before we go into a little bit, just probably throwing out a couple songs here and there. Mm-hmm. I agree with you, but I think both of them have surprises. Yeah. What happens if he put that br- big brother call in? <laughs> it will bleak. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Yo, Hove, I don't ask you for too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One time, can you come through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, you come know. on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Joel Santana. He has a, a wing. Yeah. You remember that? I, I can't feel my face that they ain't here. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. Can we drop that? So I, yeah. I think both of them have, this is unofficial, but if it does transpire to come true, if it comes to the true to fruition, I think it can be beneficial for both of their brands as artists. Mm-hmm. We're seeing the artists. I don't want to put their age. I'll just say artists, uh, how, how do I say it? Artists that's beyond 35 mm-hmm. that are flourishing. Yeah. You know, I, I think if they rebrand themselves with this versus and they do it correctly, it could be beneficial to both of them. Mm-hmm. But speaking of catalog, Joel Santana has <laughs> from, yes. what, from me to music. you, yeah. from me to you, first 2003. Mm-hmm. And then obviously what the game's been missing. But then, as you said, he has all them verses on them, Dipset mixtapes and yeah. Cam's album and Jim's album yeah. and this person's mixtape and that yeah. person's mixtape. They were all hit, some hit records. You know what I mean? Dipset had hit records. Cameron's Come Home With Me had hit records. Mm. So, and Joel's was, I think, like on two of them. Because the old boy in the, in the okay. Hamma, you know. So, so he if, has classic if, lines. If Joel's plays old boy... What does Memphis Bleak play to combat that? That was that was Joel's introductory record. I mean, we we heard him before, but that was his introduction to the world. Bleak might have to go with the with the street thing with with the um, you know, where he's talking to Jay. He's like, Nah, I like your style. Nah, I like your style. He's like, Cool, here thou a G. I do that shit for free. <laughs> you know, mm. Like you threw the money out. Yeah, like that's what Bleak used to like. What he's talking about, like. Bleak would have to do an introductory record that would hit hard, but I, I mean after that, I know a lot of Bleak records, but I'm trying to think like I don't know because think about it, think about their last albums, right? And this is where I'm gonna leave it. When Joel Santana's last album, what the games we missing, he was banging. 
he was he like all those records that was on that album, he was banging. Memphis Bleak's last album, that, that four sh- five that six. Shots us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Memphis Bleak's last album, it didn't. Even though I liked it, and there was hit records on there, he didn't really push it past. And I, I no disrespect to Jay, but that was Jay's fault. I gotta say that. That's you don't, it. you don't think Jay really got behind that? No, he only had. To, that's when you saw Rihanna the first time. They, they, okay, they had, I, he was joint with Swiss Beats. I never heard anything else after that. Mm-hmm. That's like remember because them and the Young Guns dropped the album. And Young Guns album, you heard a song between Cino Video. So okay. that was when all the those 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 they had banging records, but it's not gonna hit. You know, Joel's comes out. Joel's will just keep coming. You be like, oh, that's what you want to do? Bang, 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 bang. He'll hit you with Dipset verses. Then you, then he'll come back and say, oh no 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 wait wait. I got to remember when I was rocking with Cam. Oh, I'm going to hit you with this verse, this verse, this verse. What you got? Then you're going to come back around and be like, I ain't even start with my album. So now okay. I'm going to hit you with two of my albums that all had three to four singles, that, that each that had three to four hits. So now what you got now, Bleak? You can call your big brother all you want. I'm talking to you. <laughs> so that's like, that's so, when so you I, think that's he, when he, gonna he's going to drop him in the deep in the pool? Right, Bleak gonna have to let me put it this way. Once again, I'm gonna say this: if Bleak wins, I wouldn't be shocked, but he's gonna have to do a can lot you, of work. Can you name some records that you remember? Um, is that your chick? Round here with Trick Daddy and Ti. Um, what's the joint? Um, what you think of that with Beanie Siegel? Um, man, Bleak is. Um, he's got a joint with Nori, but I don't think that it's gonna hit like it's supposed to. Like, he's got that joint. He's got the joint with Jay. Um, the thing off the, the Streets is Watching soundtrack. You okay. Know, um, it's All Right, his verse on there, which he killed and murdered. Um, he's got a few of them. I just, I don't think when Joel starts trading go verse for verse, Joel's going to get him because Joel's record list of everything that everybody knows. Like, the thing was, is what I, and, and what I'm saying, and, and then it, I'm trying to think of what Bleak was on, maybe on a... a See, what was so impressive about the locks and dipset, the lock dipset didn't do all the records. They weren't in tune together. They weren't, you could tell. And this is the reason why I could going back in this. But what made the dip what made the locks so impressive about that battle is that they had everything. They had the street records, they had the hit records, versus and they had, ver- they had verses that they just did. They they just had it. There was nothing you could do. Like, mm-hmm. like, I mean, dipset was trying, God bless them, but there was nothing they could do. Nothing, nothing. They, they, unless they, unless they would have got on tune and point. So they just had thinking, to get on tune, and they would have had to call. Yeah, J.R. Ryder, Hell Rail, Forty Cal. But that's a whole nother conversation, right? So even with saying that, Dipset has some records, and they weren't even trying. So look at Joel's now, where he's like, I don't know if they kind of, kind of felt the bun of that. Like mm-hmm. you know, we it, it it did good for them too because it it made me realize it made me remember like how much of legends they really are. But Certified. at the same time, you know, they weren't even trying. So think about Joel's right now where he's like, yeah. Now I'm going to have to come out. Yeah, now I'm about to come out and I'm about to just throw haymakers. Like, what you going to do about it? You know what I mean? I, I don't know if, I don't know. If you Bleak got in the landslide? If, if Bleak wins, it's not going to be by me. <laughs> no, I mean Joel's. Like, Joel's, yeah. He, he, he would probably get it. Third round knockout? Yeah. I, I think I think with those records, I, Bleak's gonna have to remind me of something, because I ain't gonna front. I thought Dipset had more on the locks, but the locks just kept coming. Anytime Dipset had something, and then they did, and they had good stuff, but damn, the locks just reminded me like, don't do it. <laughs> Same, they had an answer for everything they was coming with. So I, I don't know what Bleak does, but if he does, he he'll get them. You know, that's that's the only way I see it. Let me just say this. I, I personally, being from New York, once again, I think it would be beneficial for both of them. I hope it's something that Swiss beats in them at the versus team put together. Being a hip-hop head, is there a versus that you would like to see? Um, yeah, I, I, I had to think about it. Jay, Jay and Nas. Mm. I, I mean, you know, I don't know why they keep trying to avoid it, both of them, because I know I think that they, they don't want it to get – Goofy, but I, I mean, as long as you keep it, they didn't get goofy last time. I don't know why they keep running. Now, I mean, nobody wants to bust the rhymes. Especially with this. I'm going to talk yeah, just real quick. I I'm going to go there real quick, but let me just finish with this Nas. He's been in his bag with these last two albums. Yeah. With the producer. 
the yeah. producer he's working with is a hit boy or hit me is a hit, hit boy. boy yeah he needs to stick with hit boy for the next five albums <laughs> because yeah. the sound mm-hmm. the way he's in pocket the mm-hmm. music this overall vibe yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely agree with you with the jay nice buster rhymes um yeah nobody wants to win him. nobody wants to win him because he's a hell of a performer he doesn't just spit the craziest lines you ever heard or dopest verse he pissed performance behind it one thing that i wanted to see because i want to say i saw it somewhere some blog some chat whatever they was like oh nobody can mess with eminem in the verses the first person in my head was buster rhymes yeah he can I understand. See, this isn't about album sales because people want to go, oh, he sold umpteen million records and nobody dessert. Yeah. I'm talking straight hip hop. Yeah. Straight versus. Right. Busta Rhymes versus Eminem. That's yeah. what I would like to see. Yeah, I would too. I definitely would too. Yeah, Ver- yeah. Versus, get it together, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think I, I some hip hop, definitely. I wonder if it, there's one more thing I want to say for you. 50 Cent. I wonder who would go at him, and please, you know, you know, you know who's gonna want it. Like, like who who went with fifty? He, he, he he's been on the he's been on the, the blocks. Yeah, um, he's 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 feeling bad right now because he didn't get invited to the Super Bowl. I got no comment on that. That alone tells me just. But, I, I have no comment. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? The obvious, even though he's not gonna do game it. Game don't got no 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 obvious job. Ja. And let me oh. say, let, let me say, come on, come on, eh? Hey. Because the you first, know the first two albums before Fifty popped off, he was in his pocket. I love, I love to see Nori go against Fifty. You think Nori got enough Nori, records? Nori got records. You, you see, I think. Do you I, see? I'm probably see, that's your age. era. That's yeah, the, yeah. The, see, Nori has Capone Noriega, the War Report album. A lot of people forget about that. See, Nore with the Super Thug and how he blew up. He had a whole bunch of hit records on that album. Mm. And then you gotta remember, then he did the Def Jam deal and he had a whole bunch of records on that. That 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 was smashing. And you know, Nori, Nori has a lot of hits. Don't sleep on Nori. N O R E. I think I think if him and Fifty went at it, Nori would Nori would be able to go match for match with him. I don't know if he would win, but he'd be able to go match for match. Like I you gotta let the crowd decide that. Okay. But Nori could Nori could jump right in there with him. He he can get in there with him. And 20 records, you and, can... And, and not to cut you off, I think with the thing with Murder, Inc., and please, I hope nobody takes offense, if you're from a certain environment, you know that that can never happen. That's not a hip-hop okay. thing. That's something that happened off the records that happened, and it ain't gonna never get fixed. Okay. And if you're from that environment arena, you would never dare let that sneak out of your mouth. To, to people that are into the culture and, and I, they're hoping for the best, no. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Gotcha. That's so, not directed at you. I'm just talking about people in oh, general. Because they're, they're saying. Well, like, what did 50 oh, say? What's that? I am not gang gang. I do not gang bang. <laughs> Deshaun <laughs> Jones is a civilian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but going back to Nori, you, mm. that one hit me from the side. Yeah. Um, And the 20 records. And yeah. the 20 versus records. How many you think he can up on 50? I th- him, he can go match for match with 50. You think all tw- every 20 records. Yeah, Nori, Nori got enough. He his catalog is deep. Mm. His catalog is deep. Cause Fifty got Fifty got what three, maybe four albums. Well, all that mixtape music. He might get Nori with that. That's the thing. He might um, get Nori with that. I remember that verse I played for you. Yeah, Elmatic. Yeah. <sighs> trying to think. Yeah, maybe. Power maybe. of a dollar. He brings yeah, out exactly. power of a dollar. Yeah, but that's his first joint, and Nori could go and go right digging his bag with the war report. Like this is me before the wait. <laughs> saying, there you go. Just how you was on your on your on your super muscular <laughs> shit when you was on, um, what is it? Get rich or die trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was on my my skinny boy, thug it out stuff on 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 the war plus, report. Plus the verses with Big Pun. Yeah, yeah, that would be deep. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Ver- versus get it together. There, there's. Yeah. Nori versus 50, Buster versus M. A whole bunch of stuff we you like to see. Jay and Oz. Jay and Oz, but yeah. I like the verses. You know, it's, yeah. it's something competitive for the culture outside of battle rap. You yeah. know? And, no, and everybody goes home. It's nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, it's it's what hip hop needs. I mean, we have one incident, but there's always a knucklehead in, it, in, in one. Gucci Man versus Jeezy. Oh, that, <laughs> but nothing happened, though. You know what I mean? That, that was. 
Whew, that was crazy. That was so crazy. Thank God both of those brothers made it home to their families. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Versus versus get it together. Right. 